As you can hear in a minute, case back Tim is not in perfect order. I'm wearing a pyjama and the EDC consists of paper towels and medicine and I don't feel focused enough to produce a proper watch of the week episode. Sorry guys, so virus of the week. And I'm not speaking about COVID-19. People here panicked of course and forced me to do tests. All negative and so guilty here is probably the rhinovirus. This virus was named after the rhino of course. <clears throat> the three species of rhinovirus, A, B and C, include around 160 recognized types of human rhinovirus that differ according to their surface proteins. They are among the smallest viruses with diameters of about 30 nanometers. By comparison, other viruses are around 10 times larger. So at first glance, it was an absurd decision to name the virus after a rhino. But the discoverer, a scientist, found out that the virus is exactly as unpleasant as the encounter with a rhino in your neighborhood. Unnecessary, superfluous and poison for a productive daily routine. But as a former stage musician I can tell you, show must go on, even if you are a man. Scientists found out that the rhinovirus affects men more serious than women. The hormone estrogen inhibits the multiplication of viruses. In men, the estrogen level is lower than in women, which results in a higher viral activity. Another reason is the higher testosterone level in men. The more testosterone, the fewer antibodies there are in the organism. And as men, we are of course the proud owner of an enormous testosterone level. Gentlemen, this means the more we whine over the flu, the more men we are. Useful information, isn't it? You can thank me by giving the video a thumb up. Last sentence about the rhinovirus. It's a testimony of the strange preferences in modern science. They can fly billionaires into space, but they have nothing against that rhino in your nose. Predictions are that this situation will remain a couple more decades. Which brings me to upcoming Friday. I have the strong suspicion that I cannot manage the production of a nice video with in-depth watch review guitar piece and more. So let's use the opportunity for a relaxed Q&A video. <clears throat> Please feel free to ask whatever you like. Just put it here in the comment section. And when you want to add images or other material to your question, then please email it to casebackwatches at icloud.com. Okay, I think even for a man, I've made enough drama around my cold here now. So let's meet here next Friday again with your questions. Thank you and until then.